G'day everyone, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. Today I'm in Lungana, I'll be fishing in the Levin River, trying to chase a few rainbow trout, as well as the more common brown trout. So I was actually here yesterday, you can check out that first video if you like. I was fly fishing yesterday, I caught a few fish but it wasn't quite as successful as I would have hoped. Today I think I might use a lure and we'll see how we go, see if we can land a few more of those rainbow trout hopefully. So stay tuned, let's see how we go. So as we drive on down to Lungana, I will tell you a little bit more about the spotted tail quoll. So the spotted tail quoll is an apex predator. They're only about five kilograms, but they are at the top of the food chain. So they have no other predators. They are very good hunters. So they are a marsupial carnivore. So just like a kangaroo, they've got a pouch, but they will only eat meat. So they will be hunting things like paddy melons, wallabies, and brush tail possums. They're very good climbers, so they do like to live in environments where there are a lot of trees around. So the Levin Canyon that we were just at before, uh, that is perfect habitat for them. So there's a lot of that forest for them to climb around in, but also it has a lot of those uh, rocky ledges, limestone caves that they will uh, live in during the daytime. All right guys, so it is a new day. So it is the day after what you've already seen. So yesterday I was fly fishing a bit and caught a couple of fish but it wasn't that successful I don't think overall. Uh, so I've got the lure today. I'm going fish uh, upstream of where, where we were yesterday. So this is looking downstream towards where we fished yesterday. But I'll be heading upstream see what it looks like up there. So this is actually the marker, this bridge is the marker of where the, uh, the rainbow trout stream begins. So there are slightly different regulations between the brown trout or the normal waters and the rainbow trout waters, uh, just in terms of the closed season. But at the moment being mid-December, we don't have to worry about any closed seasons. But I will try the lure. I've got a Rapala x wrap in brown trout colour. I feel like that uh, would be quite a good little lure. Seems to work in most situations. Just a small, hard body, shallow diving lure. The river here is not too deep. Pretty wadeable for basically all of it. So I feel like uh, a shallow running lure should do the trick. But I'll get down to the river, we'll see how we go guys. So you'll notice, I cast, I retrieve it, I've got the rod pointing directly to the lure. So that means there's not much slack between me and the lure. When a fish bites it, I'll feel it. You're also increasing your setup, your hook set rate. If you've got too much of an angle in the rod like that, there's a bit more uh, give in the rod if a fish takes it, less likely to get those hooks into the fish. Whoa! Oh! Jeez! Jeez! Done a full 360! Oh, it's a rainbow. Oh yeah, look at that, and the hooks come out in the net. Look at that fish. Oh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We'll have a look at him. 
wiggly fish. Oh, lovely fish. Rainbow trout, that is beautiful. That's what the river is known for. That's what we want. Beautiful rainbow trout. And he absolutely smashed that lure and absolutely went haywire. That is, that is good. That is a nice fish. We'll put him back. And he's gone. Whew. There we are, smashed that lure. Worried I was going to lose him with all those jumping, all those jumps there. But we've still got it. Little brown trout X wrap, Rapala X wrap. Good fish. Good start. Let's see if we can get another one. Yep. Really, really little. Little brown. Look at the size of the lure he's taken compared to him. Little brown, tiny little brown. I'm back. Uh, aggressive fish trout. This lure is only half the size he was. He's taken that one, no worries. You can find a bigger one. But they're taking the lure. Already caught two, only been here. Well, that's the first pull there, so onto the second pool, already got two. Lots of beautiful, promising looking water all around us. These big eddies either side of where the flowing water is. It's definitely a good spot for a trout. Yep. Another little one. Oh. A little bit bigger than the last one. Another brown trout. Barbless hooks come out very easy. Another little brown trout. Hopefully we can find a few bigger specimens. Still nice looking fish. We'll let him go. Off he goes. There we go. Three fish. Definitely catching them a little quicker than yesterday. Yesterday I only caught two on the fly and they were one cast after each other. So. I reckon there's more fish in this little section up here and through here as well, so we'll keep trying. Oh, maybe. Would have been nice. Uh, missed him. Little fish. Cut off. Another perfect spot though, lots of shallow flowing water. I'm sure there are plenty of fish. Throughout, oh, that uh, might have been a rock. Throughout this whole little area here. I'll just keep working the lure across the whole area. See what we can pick up. 
Another rainbow trout would be nice. Good fish. Whoa! Alright, oh, stay in the net. Stay in the net. Oh, big fish. That is a good fish. Very good size fish. Another good sized fish. So I've changed my lure, not because I wasn't catching anything on the x trap it was doing brilliantly, but the bib fell off. The bib on the front that makes it swim. Oh, that was your fish. Let's see if he comes back. So yeah, no bib. Definitely doesn't help. But to be fair, I have had that lure for about five years. I probably caught about 50 fish on it at least, I don't know. So it's gone through the wars and finally today is the day it died. So I've put on a fairly similar lure. Again, mimicking a brown trout. It is a Yozuri uh, pin, little minnow, representing a brown trout. There's no reason why they won't love it. I think I got a hit just before, but uh, no hookup. Oh, there was a fish right in front of me. If I can cast. So I have noticed quite a few more fish rising now. So it might be worth a walk back to the car, grab that fly rod again. There's been lots of little, little grey mayflies. That's probably what they'll take. A little done style. Yeah, there's quite a few of the little mayflies around now. It is late in the afternoon. But 
but I'll keep trying with these lures for a bit. If this lure doesn't work, I've got a few more X wraps in different colors that I might put on. This lure is a little bit bigger uh, than the X wrap, but the last two fish I've caught have been about 40 and 35 centimeters, so quite good sized fish. So yeah, there's no reason why they wouldn't take a slightly larger lure. So I've swapped back over to an X-Wrap and straight away we have ourselves a big fat rainbow trout. Have a look at that. Really nice fish. Big, fat, healthy rainbow trout. Straight out of this, this run here. Giving me a few good fish this run. Oh, good fish. I'll fish to the top of this run and see what lies beyond, but pretty happy with that. Good size rainbow trout. That's what we came for. Good fish. So as I said, I did just change over to the, the X-Wrap again. So Rapala X-Wrap. This one is different color, not the brown trout color. It is much darker on top, but it also has a bit of orange on the tail. And that rainbow trout loved it, and I reckon every other fish in here will too. So the reason I changed to the X-Wrap after only a few minutes with the Yozuri I think the X-Wrap, it performs better when the water's flowing towards you. So the X-Wrap seems to be uh, swimming better winding uh, downstream, so casting upstream, having the lure actually flow towards. You're only winding just faster than the current of the water, so the lure swims in the action. I think it was doing that better than the Yozuri was. So I changed back over and it was second or third cast maybe. Got ourselves a fat rainbow trout. So getting some good sized fish again up here. Last four fish. Pretty good size. Yep. Oh no. Ah. Uh, had one. Tighten that drag up a bit. I don't think he'll come back. Worth a cast. Ooh. But yeah, this shallow run area is just fish heaven. Pleasure to fish. Well, what a day, guys. Very good day of fishing, caught about 10 fish. Uh, we definitely got uh, onto a few of those rainbow trout as well. So that's what we plan to do. So very, very thankful for that. Been a very good day out using the lure, uh, fishing in the, the Levin River here at Lungana. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. There's definitely a fair bit of action going on there. So there was a lot to a lot to enjoy on my behalf as well. It was a lot of fun making it. Got to see some lovely areas as well. It's actually cleared up a fair bit now, even though it was raining about 10 minutes ago, but that's Tasmania for you, I guess. So until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.